Hi there. Today we are going to discuss about uh, controllers in Lumen. So how to define the controller, what is controller, and uh, uh, what controller does actually. So controller basically is the main, uh, you can say, uh, Mm, main parts of the application which manages the route and uh, uh, divert the route and take action based upon the request okay so let's understand uh, with the help of some image okay so yes this is the simplest version of MVC. Okay. Uh, so here you can see user make the request to see the route. Okay. And then it goes to the controller and controller decide whether it is uh, needed any uh, database fetching uh, model logic. Then it, then it forward it to the model and then fetch the forward not forward actually is fetch the uh, data from the model and then uh, re then it returns in the form of the view to the to the requested route okay and if it is not required then it uh, directly uh, send the response using, using the using the view okay sorry so uh, so how to create a controller in lumen and uh, there are two ways basically the first one is the manual way we can go to the app http controllers folder and we can create the class okay so let's say test controller So every controller in the Lumen must have uh, parents, the base controller class, okay, like this. Initially, you uh, you will have the example controller, okay. So let's uh, extend it. Class test. controller and copy okay let's find copy the other parts also to save the time okay and now in the defined controller we can define our action so we can connect it to the our routes Okay, so let's define the action. To define the action, the action are uh, simple functions in the controller. So let's say it is index and uh, okay, and return test. Activated. Okay, and let's connect it to the our route. So to define the route, we need to go to the route folder and web.php. If you need more information about the route, you can check my video on the routes also. Okay. So let's copy it and to connect. To, with the controller, we can use one of the several ways. So the simplest ways is to define the controller name here. Okay, and then action. And let's uh, change the path. Test, just test. And uh, to check this out, your uh, uh, development server must be running. Okay. 
so you can use the any rest api client or uh, it's a base path or you can use the browser okay and let's uh, the path was the test okay the test controller activated okay the other ways is uh, to use the make command uh, initially lumen has no option for this okay to power the lumen using the make command then uh, we have to install the lumen generator i have installed it and uh, after the installation you have to mention this provider class in the service provider section in app.php i will leave this link in the description box also so i have already set up it okay you can uh, follow this this two thing and then you can have uh, multiple make command for the to create a controller to create a model or to create a request and migration also to create a middleware okay so let's create the controller using this php artisan make controller test to Okay, and it is created. Let's check it out. It is here. Okay, so using this amount is uh, you can um, create it easily. Okay, so uh, the next thing is the uh, uh, the namespace okay uh, we are creating the uh, our controller in the base controller path okay namespace in the app state we controllers if you want to create your controller in some other folder then you have to mention in the route also you can't just give the controller name and action here you have to mention the namespace here also so let's create a uh, new controller under the new namespace let's create a folder okay and uh, let's create a controller in this test three test admin let's say to differentiate it and admin okay and now if we check then they will have this okay so uh, to connect it to the route we have to mention namespace here okay so just it's a very simple admin test index okay uh, oh sorry we need a controller name and log check it out test admin controller activated okay it's so simple we also provide the parameter to the route so suppose uh, but we need to give it uh, under curly presses let's name it id and details and to access this parameter under the controller action to pass it here okay so let's uh, print it now okay so we have id parameter here and uh, the name of this we can print it here okay the name must be same so test 45 details okay so you can pass the parameter through the action using the routes the next thing is the we can use the middleware also so in the fresh installation you have to 
activate the middleware, uh, the default middleware of the application. So in the bootstrap.php, we have this, okay, auth example. So let's activate the root specific. You can check my video on the middleware also. Uh, I will leave the uh, leave the link in the description box. Okay. So let's suppose how to activate the auth. We need to activate the provider also. Or provider also. We'll make the video to authenticate the API, domain API, in my next. Okay. So to define, to inject the middleware, we have to use this uh, pattern. And uh, do this, okay. Okay, so we use this uh, with the middleware key. The second parameter uh, will be an array. And in this array, we have to pass the different attributes. To use the middleware, we have to use the middleware attribute. And this section use the uses. Keyword. Okay, now check it out. Unauthorized, okay, because uh, we are not passing any authorization in that. Okay. Yeah. The one more thing I want to mention here. Uh, any action in the controller has a, if you inject any class, then it will automatically load it. Like uh, if we use request okay and the other parameter uh, they, uh, the other parameter must be declared after the loading classes okay so let's uh, uh, print out here the request also so not all the request just to print the method and let's check it out Hmm, right, so we need to remove it. Okay, the method is get and the parameter is 45. Okay, um, we can give the route as a name also and use it in a, our controller to give the root name use as uh, let's say uh, no to check it yeah we can check it here. test admin okay so let's print it out in our controller Using the route helper, you can directly use this route. Easily get the URL. Okay. So let print it out also. Let's check it here. Okay. It's printing the same path we have requested. So that's uh, all for the today. Uh, if I've missed something, I will cover in my upcoming videos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.